So this is Music as a Cellular Service, probably my 10th video on this. Um, here's an example of somebody from my YouTube channel called DIY Shop, one of the coolest channels ever, where they have uh, created an, a car stereo version of a stereo. So we have the car stereo is kind of GUI here, and then it's been meticulously placed into this old boombox. And this is exactly the kind of thing we're talking about with Music as a Cellular Service, where you would go and just flick this on, connects to the cellular service, all the music, your master profile, all right on a screen like this. It's ready to go. Going to connect to your cellular system. Maybe there's a backup hard drive to uh, capture some data. Um, very cool device here. I think it would be beneficial to have like a future of hybrid wireless technologies and that's kind of where they're going I think where <clears throat> some of it's going to come from the cellular system but then some of it will come from your local Wi-Fi and it'll switch between the two but I mean you just think about being able to call up any music you want hey blah 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 play blah 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 and then boom you'll see the album you'll see the song and of course you'll hear it playing through real speakers and there won't be any worrying about connecting your phone uh, or putting a little cable to your phone or having your phone boot up or switch modes or switch apps because this is your system here. You're not, you're not worrying about all the other uh, technicalities of <clears throat> you know modern computing and all these other things. It's a very simple system. So anyway, this person went through the laborious effort of taking this entire thing apart and then kind of chiseling it down and sculpting it and repainting it and retrofitting everything to implement a new technology. It's kind of like a retro tech, I don't know. There's a new 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 concept coming in fabrication. So, you know, when you add 3D printers to that, oh my God, what's going to happen to this world? But <clears throat> this is a great example of how simple it would be because they have now also internet um, radios that are coming out. So music as a cellular service is like, it's like, knock knock knocking on the door you know waiting for an answer so this is a good example though of like how easy you know you could just plop something like this I mean you could take your cell phone right now and stick it in there and just have it work you know like an old phone and have it work as a cellular boombox I mean but the, 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 the trick is getting that price point right so that you're getting half of the money is going to the music publishers and then half of the money is going to the cellular people. Because that's where they really got the internet totally wrong. They, they made the internet like you're just paying for the cellular system or you're just paying for the internet uh, telecom system. But, you know, the people who made the content aren't getting a dime. So that's where they went terribly, terribly wrong with the entire internet. It's like they could have made it, you know, 50 bucks a month. And they could have also fed the publishers and the creators and the, you know, the people who made the content. But because what's happening with the Internet is a total shift in the dynamics of like who controls, you know, the media. That's why it probably it didn't happen. Plus, it would have been a lot of money and, you know, would have never got off the ground. So they did it like the, the more, I don't know, uh, just basic way, which was to just, you know, you're paying for a service that's connecting to all this uh, uh, telecom infrastructure. But really, they should have come out the gate with splitting that money so that the people who actually make content were going were gonna to be paid. Now, we're entering a, t a time in this world where, you know, what, what money is, the dynamics of money is shifting. And hopefully they won't leave so many people out in the, you know, cold and people will get some kind of income so they can sustain themselves from being creatives. Because, you know, that's... If you don't need people to work in factories because, you know, robots are doing and all these things, then, you know, let's let's figure out this new system. I mean, what I don't know what the holdup is, really. But anyways, back to boo the boombox concept. There, There's a good uh, prototype example of how easy it would be to make music as a cellular service and then have a boombox that has a built-in system that's going to play your music from the cellular cloud right to the device no fuss, no fuss, no mess, um, and great speakers. Because we're bringing back the music. We don't just have to have a boombox in your car rattling away on the windows. You should be able to take it in a, in a nice, convenient, carry-away uh, system like this, make it nice and modular, so you can carry it around anywhere you want to go. 
Anyways, that's uh, my cue to the end of the video. Music as a cellular service.